is George from High Tech Legion. By now we've all seen the results of the GeForce GTX 680 from NVIDIA, uh, just unleashing some of the most ungodly power we've seen in the GPU to date. Uh, frames per second never before seen from a single GPU solution, and actually beating out many multi-GPU solutions and SLI and Crossfire solutions. Well, Asus is uh, introducing the DirectCU2 top version of the GTX 680, which is going to take it a couple of steps further. Asus is long renowned for their circuit board building, as well as their cooling solutions on GPUs, and they're going to use all that on the DirectCU2 top. Taking a look, we've got the DirectCU2 cooler, which is a five heat pipe cooler with direct contact. It's going to make the GPU run about 20% cooler and 14 dB quieter. The reason it can do this with the five heat pipes and an increased dissipation area, the fans can actually run a bit slower, producing quieter, cool, uh, quieter cooling with much more effective cooling. Not to stop there, Asus is going to take it up to a 1201 MHz uh, ultimate boost. That's 143 MHz uh, up from stock. DigiPlus VRM is a 10 phase super alloy power VRM uh, for more precise control of the voltage going to all of your components on the card as well as more overclocking headroom. VGA Hotwire DIY Overvolting is going to allow for actual hardwiring to ROG motherboards to control the card from uh, ROG motherboards and all of its voltage. And 2 gigabytes of DDR5 memory. Swinging around the back of the box, get a look at some of the features. First, get a look at the DirectCU 2 top video card itself. And on the back, we've got two DVIs, HDMI, and DisplayPort. The DirectCU 2 cooling system, five heat pipes, increased dissipation area, makes for slower, uh, slower fan speeds with more uh, with decreased airflow with the same type of cooling, and will actually run about 20% cooler at idle and top speeds. DigiPlus VRM with super alloy power, 10 phase VRM uh, delivers 30% cleaner power. 30% uh, less noise in the power is going to make for more stability, better overclocking headroom. Finally, VGA Hotwire is going to allow you to wire the board directly to ROG motherboards and is going to allow you to control the voltages of the uh, GPU directly from the motherboard. Inside of the outer box sleeve we find a nice black box with the gold ASUS logo. And opening that up, naturally foam, nice little black and gold holder for your quick start guide as well as your driver and utility CD. Nicely packed in foam. And we find the direct CU2 top GTX 680 itself, along with SLI bridge and one 8 pin to two 6 pin power adapter. When the DirectCU2 top is taken out of the box, the first two words really that are going to come to you are huge and beautifully constructed. Obviously, it is a triple slot solution, so it's going to be big. Um, but the construction on it is just absolutely remarkable. There's a very, very solid steel shield all the way around for protection as well as airflow um, channeling. If you take a look, you've got two full-size ASUS fans over two towers inside, three heat pipes going through this tower, two full-size heat pipes going through this tower directly off of the GPU with direct contact. It's going to provide excellent cooling for the 680. Uh, this in conjunction with the 680's natural uh, cooler running capabilities and lower thermal power, or um, I should say lower uh, wattage, is going to make for a very nice solution. Going to keep it running nice and cool, uh, not going to have any problems with heat whatsoever. Taking a look around the sides, as you can see, triple slot board, PCI Express connector right here, vented on the sides, get a little air flow through the um, towers themselves inside. Going around the back, you've got a full steel plate over the back. Reason for this being, uh, many times you're going to see on the larger video cards, you're going to see flex in the circuit board. 
This causes a lot of problems. It causes cracking problems in the circuit board, micro fractures, uh, where the card will not stop working, but you are going to get degraded performance. Aces combats this with a combination of a steel back plate, which is going to keep the card very rigid, and a much higher tensile strength cir uh, printed circuit board. The board itself is much stronger. It's backed with a steel back plate. It's not going anywhere. Uh, going even further, GPU guard, which we can't see under here, uh, strengthens the board again, right around the GPU, even further. Uh, what that's going to do is keep the board even more solid there. Uh, you've got the cooling uh, system coming right off that part of the board. So keeping that even stronger is going to prevent any micro fractures around the GPU itself. Just really an incredible, incredible board uh, put together here by Asus. Going around the other side, this is the side you're going to see. Uh, you've got the Asus logo in silver on the black backdrop. Really, really nice looking board. This part right here of the structure is actually on with the board and attached to the uh, PCI slot end. So what you're going to get is even further st um, strengthening of the board itself. This is really going to go a long way. You've got your two SLI connectors right here. Going over to the end, obviously, two DVI, HDMI, and DisplayPort right here. Triple slot. Bottom two slots are vented for better air circulation. Just really an incredible looking board from Asus, and it's just got absolutely everything built into it that Asus has promised. The Asus GeForce GTX 680 Direct CU2 top really takes the GTX 680 to another level. Um, there's the obvious top GPU boost to 1201 megahertz, which is 143 megahertz boost, but Asus goes so much further than that. Uh, you've got the VGA hotwire, so for hardcore overclockers, you're going to be able to hardwire the board right to your ROG motherboard, control your GPU voltage, PLL voltage, and your VMEM. Uh, you've got the 2 gigabytes of DDR5, 10 phase DigiPlus super alloy power supply for the most precise power control and 30% less noise. It's going to make for a lot of overclocking headroom and a lot of clean power. Uh, to keep the board as stable as possible, Asus has also used their um, higher tensile strength printed circuit board with GPU guard. There's the ba steel backplate that is going to keep the board from ever microfracturing. It is just an absolutely solid, solid board. Plus, the steel outer shield is also going to help a little bit with tensile strength, uh, as well as help to channel the air. The direct CU2 cooling system with five direct contact heat pipes and two mini towers inside is going to do a lot with the GTX 680 as far as cooling. You're going to keep it about 20% cooler and allow it to also be about 14 dB quieter. When you combine uh, the direct CU2 tops cooling system with the actual um, GTX 680's lower wattage, you're going to get some very, very cool temperatures and some incredible performance. With the Direct CU2 top, Asus has done just an incredible job of taking an already incredible card and making it even better.